welcome students welcome to the digital electronics session there is a question here you can see on the screen which is already asked in the previous year exams uh, this is a question related to the maximum delay they are asking by including a circuit of combinational way like multiplexers and some logic gates also so how to deal this one so simple manner you can make it first of all multiplexer operation basic thing we know that when the select line is 0 it will select this i0 if the select line is 1 it will select this i1 here also like that only the select line if it is 0 here it will select the i0 and it will select the i1 if the select line is 1 because here this this symbol is nothing but i0 actually this is the i1 and like that only this is i0 this is i1 here the selection will be based on this particular S0 it will be there. So, let me consider here. First of all, we will check the two conditions here. One is T equal to 0 and another one is T equal to 1. First of all, let me consider here T equal to 0 case. For the overall operation to get the result here, how much time it takes place, we will have the discussion of that. Then we will go for T equal to 1. Then we will have the same way the process and in both these cases, in which case the delay is maximum that we will find out because the question is asked like that only how much the maximum delay in these particular cases, in this particular overall circuit case. Okay, t equal to 0 we will consider. When t equal to 0, here it is 0, it is 0. So, here it will be selected the i0 and here it will be selected the i0 here. So, here when t equal to 0, here it is 0, here it is 0. So, here i0 is selected for the i0 from where we are having the connection from this particular gate. So, that result will come here like this, like this to this output. That will be the output result. Sir, what about this one? i1 won't be operated no for this 0. Sir, 0 at this place is not operating this i1 ok. But my doubt is sir, here it is 0 no, this 0 will operate this no, very good. For this 0 it will be operated, but that is unconcerned for us because it is not operated for this particular 0 no. So, even though the output comes here by this particular select line 0, by this select line 0, i0 will come here by this result and all, but that will not be unconcerned for us no, that will be unconcerned for us no, because we are going to take only this particular thing because for 0 this will be selected. So, for that one this will be how much it is they gave already this is given and is 2 nanoseconds. So, that we should consider here 2 nanoseconds and here this particular multiplexer we have to take it yeah that will be what 1 nanosecond ok. So, that plus this 2 plus 1 here we are going to get it is nothing but 3 nanoseconds we are going to get here because when it is 0 this will be operated and for that one we should take here this particular AND gate 2 nanoseconds right and this particular MUX 1 nanosecond right. So, overall it will be 3 nanoseconds only. Now, we have to come to this particular case of when S equal to when T this particular T is equal to say for example this is 1 we are having. Now, when it is 1 here it is also 1 here, then what will be operated? Here it will be operated and here it will be operated. So, for this i1 from where we are getting the input here, sir for this i1 this is operated sir, very good, for this one operated right. So, for this one we should take the 2 nanoseconds and here it is for the max 1 nanosecond and for this particular gate it is of 2 nanosecond. But for this one sir here from this the connection is there no and that 2 nanosecond also will be there no. No need to consider that 2 nanosecond. Why sir? Because for this one the connection is there from that no sir. Very good. But here this and these two are parallelly operated. So, when here 2 nanosecond and 1 nanosecond overall here we are having here up to this we are having 3 nanoseconds delay. In this delay only, this 2 nanoseconds already operated, no, this particular gate, that is why that for that particular thing there is no need to consider only this 2 nano, this 1 nano, 3 nano, 
so in that time only in this particular period of 2 nano 1 nano which is the 3 nanoseconds in that period of time only already this particular gate conducted up operation and gave the result that's why only for this for this 2 1 3 nano and by this gate it is 2 nano and by this max again 1 nano so that will be what 2 nano plus 1 nano plus 2 nano plus 1 nano so it will be of 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 6 nanoseconds is the t max delay we are going to get this is the answer for that question got it right thank you